the players, welcome back to my reacts. So we're reacting to Family Guy Funny Moments number 25. If you're ready for this reaction, give me a thumbs up and let's press play. I think it's actually 26, but at this point, mm -mm. I'm just going to start saying Family Guy Funny Moments. I always dreamed of being stuck in an elevator with Tom Brady. That makes two of us. Can I ask you my Tom Brady questions? I wouldn't deign to speak for Tom Brady. Understood, understood. Hey, did atheists go to hell? No. How about people who say they are not religious, but they are spiritual? Straight to hell. To the boiler room of hell. All the way down. Sometimes oh I pull them out goodness. just so they think everything is going to be okay, but then I put them right back in. Good. Good. That makes me happy. Sorry, I'm adjusting the air because I'm a little hot. <laughs> And he just kept trying. That's what gets me. Hell, we're gonna be on the internet. Mm -mm. Like, why didn't he just give up at that point? I've seen that scene like 15 times, and it always gets me. Alright, you guys, I will now do anything for ten dollars. Who's got something for me? I got one. I'll give you ten bucks if you wear the same pair of underwear for a month. Hey, um. <laughs> uh, actually, you owe me three. I feel like we've seen this Wish one, this too. You change your underwear. <laughs> it won't come off. I guess it's worth a shot. Of course it is. If she says yes, you'll surprise everyone, just like you did on New Year's Eve. Three, two, one. Some animals give me voters. <laughs> Seen that Maybe one. there's a silver lining to this fiasco. Not thinking about sex all the time seems to have allowed Chris to excel in other areas. It does seem shepherd. Heck, the old Chris couldn't even figure out the self-checkout at the supermarket. Please place the item in the bagging area. Please remove the item from the bagging area. Please take a plastic bag from the bagging area. Please put the bag over your head and tighten it. <laughs> You took a pretty hard right turn back there. I've uh, been like this for a while. What's he doing? This is one of them places where women go to see male strippers. Some bisexual men go as well. Oh, that'd do it. But you know, it's not just the Griffins who work hard to make Family Guy what it is. Here in the props department, some sweaty guy is working on the Peter Cock. That's right. You know, a lot of people don't realize SEAL Team 6 actually completed their mission in this puppy. Oh, cool! A family guy! Over here! I'm down here! Stewie, I don't think this is gonna work. We're never gonna raise enough money to pay back Padma's father. Trust me, Brian, there are a billion people here, and almost every one of them has a tapeworm. Yes, excuse me. I have a tapeworm. Alright, very good. Lie down on your stomach. This won't hurt a bit. The way? Oh. Hey, how are you guys? Oh, you're My question kid. is, how did he, why did he take his pants off? He literally said, lie down on your stomach. He did not say get naked. You sound American. How long have you been in there? I originally just came for my junior year, but I fell in love with the place. But why are you so down? That's so jacked Dad told me I had to lose the championship game on purpose. He what? Peter, get in here right now. Peter! Wow, someone's gay, horny. Oh, hey, Chris. What about all those people outside? They'll see that I deleted it, and it'll all blow over. Trust me. I hope so, but you never know. They're still pretty mad at me down at Dick's Sporting Goods. Ooh. Um, what's the name of this place? Dick's. And, and what's that say on your shirt? Dick's. <laughs> Can I have two balls and a helmet? Hey, you're the guy from the phone. <laughs> Stop the car, Chris! Did you get him yet? We got him. So we now return to the awkward stepdad show. Man, your mom's a real groaner. Do you hear that in your room? Hey, Dad, where are you going? Well, man, now that I'm a metal detector guy, I gotta start eating breakfast at On the Sand Cafes, where I will judge tourists as my skin browns and hardens. Stop throwing your 
kids diapers in the trash for all the soda cans. Please. Don't. Why won't you? Is that a ah! joke? <laughs> what? Mm-mm. That's right. I'm your dad. Your gentle suburban dad. I'm guessing he's hey, a military. Uh, sure must be tough having a son with goofy noodle legs like mine. Chris, I love you, no matter how useless you are on a paddle boat. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sir? Sir, can you hear me? There he is. Welcome back, buddy. Who are you? I'm a paramedic named Striker Fox. Oh, there was just texting. Why is he hanging on the door? I'll text back for you. Same thing, bitch. Just different shapes. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, battery died. Okay, Natalia, level with me. Why are you really here? I have been sent to neutralize liberal Jewish dissident Fievel Mouskowitz. Huh? Well, the only mouse in this neighborhood is our innocent neighbor, Frank Maxwell. Comrade Mouskowitz! Did you think you could run forever? Hiya! I think you've got the wrong mouse! I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. Good day, ma'am. Oh, you killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. A break, you mouse! Oh. You know, even though you and Peter have your differences, I'm glad it hasn't affected our friendship. This day is chicken thing. Stay together, right? <laughs> The way they used so to fight. Okay. At work. Honey, please. Lois is a friend. Really, Nicole, you got the wrong idea. How does this bitch know my name? Bitch? Okay, ho. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Come on, no. uh oh, it's like hold my eggs. <laughs> I love this scene. Awesome. A chick chick and chick fight. We now return to Chick America, Chick and Chick Union. All right, Captain America, we have to get ready for the big fight with the other heroes. Who do we have on our side? Well, Hawkeye, we've got you, Scarlet Witch, the Falcon, then... He course, said hot Randy. guy, is that what he said? Who's Randy. You know Randy, Excuse lives me. in my guest house. We've been friends since college. He's my pal. Mm. He's been going to Paris with. You are such a coward. Randy! Oh. What? They play too much. According to the calculations on my Microsoft Surface, they have advanced cloaking technology. The Microsoft Surface confirms it. Microsoft Surface. My Samsung Gear S2 watch says the same thing. And I don't know if you considered this, but the clock is ticking on students' defense. Huh. I guess you're right. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up looking like an exact mashup of Lois and Peter. <laughs> Peter, you're not even dressed. For what? Chris's class is performing a rock and roll choir. They've been practicing for months. For months or four months? For months. Three months. Not long enough. Pass. I just wish we were doing songs that weren't so hard to sing as a group. How was it? Terrible. Peter's such a terrible brother. Oh, hey, boy, man. Hey, Peter. I just came by to thank you for giving me the kick in the pants I needed to stop feeling sorry for myself and embrace my new life. I farted. As a result, I, I rediscovered an old hobby I used to love as a kid. It's just a mess. Trips. And I wanted to invite you guys to the opening of my new show at the Cohawk Playhouse. Frank Meyer, we've been delighted to attend. Wouldn't miss it. Gosh, thanks, Peter. That means a lot. Okay, see you there. Damn it. Why did I even open the door? Ah! He couldn't even wait for him to leave. You're right. I mean, look at Jeb Bush and his wife. Uh -uh. Honey, do you think I'll ever be president? No, no, no. Stewie! What? It's just a joke. Yeah, but come on. Look it up, man. Google it. I know what she looks like. 
That's so jacked up. Thank you for requesting. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below other videos that you like for me to react to. If you're not a part of our family, definitely subscribe with the dopest of love. I love you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.